Hi, this is Margaret from dataminingdna.com and this video is about hooking up your DNA test to Jenny.com. So I've previously written a blog article on using the Jenny world family tree and a separate companion article about, about uploading a GEDCOM file in terms of your own family tree into the Jenny.com website. Now one of the things about Jenny is that it is a collaborative family tree and if you're not too sure what that means I'll put a link in the description below to this article. I've uploaded a part of my family tree into Jenny.com and I would like to hook up a DNA test and I'm interested to see if I get DNA matches. One of the odd things that I found is that Jenny has actually got a collaboration with Family Tree DNA, not my heritage in terms of doing DNA tests. So if you go to the Jenny DNA FAQ, they're actually pushing Family Tree DNA. And surprisingly enough, if I come down here to this question, how do I transfer my, her my heritage DNA results to Jenny? You can't, right? Now, I haven't taken a DNA test with Family Tree DNA. I took, I purchased DNA kits from Ancestry and 23andMe. And then I have transferred my raw DNA results in terms of a download from Ancestry. I've uploaded those results to Family Tree DNA and I've got videos on this channel and articles on my blog about going through that download and upload process. So if I scroll down a little bit and uh, now I come to can I import results that I have from a DNA test I've taken with another provider in the past? And the answer is yes but only from 23andMe or Ancestry DNA. Now, you can't go directly from, I've tested with both, right? I've got DNA results on both of those sites. I can't use my download from Ancestry or my download from 23andMe and upload those into Jenny. Instead, I've got to get them into Family Tree DNA, one or the other into Family Tree DNA. And from there, from Family Tree DNA, I do a transfer. Okay, but notice that my heritage isn't listed. It's really odd. Now, I've already transferred my DNA. It was actually from Ancestry to Family Tree DNA. So, let me log into Family Tree DNA. So, I'm on the Family Tree DNA site. On the home page, I'm scrolling down. What I'm looking for, I'm looking for this, which is Partner Applications. Right. So, click Partner Applications. And the only partner is... Jenny and I am not connected so I don't know what this is going to do by the way I haven't done this before so I don't know if this is going is this going to export DNA results that I then upload or is it going to be some other way of connecting connect now okay so this isn't a download and upload process it's actually going to the, the two systems are going to talk to each other I'm going to take a look at the privacy policy always advise you to do that if you're hooking up your DNA to any online site. Okay, so I'm good with that. I'll just take a quick look at the terms of service. I just want to check that I can delete my DNA if I choose to. Oh, what's this? The DNA services are not available to residents of Israel. Is that what it is? So my heritage is based in Israel. Jenny does not claim any ownership rights in the DNA that is transferred. That's kind of critical. Okay, so having read both policies, um, the terms and conditions and the privacy, I am comfortable with that. Just make sure you are comfortable with it before you proceed. Make your own decision there. And I'm going to accept this, and I'm going to click Authorize. I'm connected. Is that it? I'm, I'm signed, am I signed in, into Jenny at the moment? Maybe. Right, so I was signed in to Jenny, so I guess that's how it managed to, it didn't ask me to sign in. I suspect if I hadn't been signed in to Jenny, it would have pulled up a login. So now if I scroll down, here we go, this is what I'm looking for, autosomal DNA. Okay, so it's telling me that I have no close relatives. I don't know how it defines close relatives, but interestingly, there are 42 profiles with autosomal DNA that matches mine. So let me go take a look at these. Okay. <laughs> Right, so I am recognizing uh, the two top matches as being this chap here is on Ancestry, Mark, and he is also on MyHeritage. So I just recognize the name. 
Before I continue with an overview of the match list, I just wanted to show you one thing that had me confused. The Family Tree DNA link jumped, when I clicked on visit site, it jumped me straight to the DNA tab on my tree profile in Jenny.com and from there I could see the match list. But I logged out of Jenny and went back in and I couldn't figure out how to get back there. So it's it's pretty simple. So when you log into Jenny, you're on the home page. You what you want to do is you want to pull up your own tree profile. So up here under the drop down menu under your account name, go to view your profile, and that link will take you to not surprisingly, your tree profile page. Okay? And then the very last tab over here is the DNA tab. Click on that, and this is where you get to your DNA list. There may be a shortcut, there may be a one hop link somewhere on the home page, I couldn't find it. But this is how I get to it DNA tab, and right down the bottom here is this link here, which will pull up your DNA match list. So I'm just going to pull that match list up. Right, so just a quick overview of this page. I have um, privatized, I've obscured some of the details just for privacy of my matches. This is the Centimorgan. What you'll find is, as I, I kind of looked at some matches that I knew were on Ancestry and some that I knew were on my heritage, and Ancestry tends to be lower in terms of Centimorgan. This is the family tree DNA, Centimorgan, but Jenny is showing you to one decimal place. Family tree DNA where it comes from, it rounds it up, okay? And then you've got a predicted relationship. So don't take this second cousin once removed to twice removed as gospel, right? But I'm sure you know that. Yeah, don't read that to say that these are the only relationships it could be. I would send you to the shared CM tool um, on DNA Painter. This is uh, Ben Bettinger's tool, and this gives you a, be a better indication as to all the possibilities not just the few that are suggested there for a Centimorgan kind of range. Okay, so here in this immediate family, I am obscuring um, this column, but what I can tell you is that the, um, what I'm seeing is the surnames of children, spouse and parents. Jenny has the same privacy policy in terms of living people in trees as my heritage, and it's quite different to Ancestry. So Ancestry obscures everything. What Jenny does is that it obscures the first name and dates and locations, but it shows you the surname. I find that odd, <laughs> but that's what I'm seeing here. I'm just seeing surnames, and these are living people. Andrew here, there's nothing. Okay, you can't see that. Apologies for that, but there's nothing in this space. So that tells me that Andrew, he effectively doesn't have a branch or of the tree on Jenny.com, whereas I know that these do. It would be nice if there was a count of the number of people in the trees in the family branch, there isn't, but at least you can skip the people who do not have a tree. So what I'll do is I'm just going to look at the... I know that Mark has a big tree on Ancestry, so I'm just going to... And it is a public family tree. I'm just going to open the DNA Ancestor report just to give you a feel for that. Okay. So here is an example of where this isn't... Jenny isn't going to help you. So Mark has a much bigger tree on Ancestry. Right. I mean, he has a genuinely large tree that goes back many, many generations. On Jenny, he's just, I guess he's just interested in looking at his matches. What he's done is he's put, it, he's put in his parents and his grandparents. He's left it at that. Right. So you kind of think, well, that's not, Jenny isn't giving him that much. But if I take a look at, so I'm just scrolling down here to Denise. And I'm picking Denise because I recognize her from Family Tree DNA. And my memory is that she doesn't have a massive tree on Family Tree DNA. She's kind of a fairly rudimentary tree. If I open her DNA Ancestor report, and now I'm just going to let this display. So over on the left here is my direct line, my pedigree. And then over here we have Denise. And what I'm seeing is, by eye, I think this tree here on Jenny is larger than the tree that she has on um, that I've seen on Family Tree DNA. You know, this is what I this is what I'm looking for from what Jenny might give me. And then the other thing I wanted to just mention to you, this person Dorothy, she has an unusual surname. And when I scroll down, there's another few people that 
they've got unusual names and I don't recognise them. And I went looking on Family Tree DNA because my assumption is, well, if they're all coming from Family Tree DNA and I can kind of, I can match them up with, on the Centimorgan, but I, I just can't see. I can't see this person on Family Tree DNA and I can't see, there's a few other people I can't see as well. Now, where are they coming from? At some point in time, for a period of time, Jenny did allow, they trialled, they went into beta with a direct upload of DNA tests. There was kind of in beta, they were accepting uploads. People were complaining, saying, well, why we've uploaded it, we're not seeing anything. And they, they were saying, oh, well, it's coming soon. But it never did come soon, or it hasn't come soon yet. And they've got this partnership now with Family Tree DNA. So I... I'm going to assume that the people that I can't see on Family Tree DNA are people who came in, who, who snuck in when the upload to the direct upload to Jenny was kind of half working. It was working for some people, it wasn't working for some other people. Then you can, yeah, you can jump to trees from here. You can the match details wasn't telling me a whole lot more than what I've got here. I'm not seeing shared matches. I haven't clicked into every match, but I would assume. I thought I would have shared matches with some of my top matches, and I can't see shared matches listed for them. And then the send message. If I'm going to assume that if people have gone to the trouble of uploading their DNA, family tree DNA, let's say from Ancestry or 23andMe, so they've copied it over to family tree DNA, and then they've done this transfer into Jenny, well, they're pretty interested in researching their family tree and the interest in genealogy research and if they happen to be on jenny.com in theory they should be more open to collaboration because the whole point of jenny.com is that it's a collaborative tree yeah you may see them on ancestry and my heritage but the this particular subset of matches may be more likely to respond to your messages one of the things that i am interested in is let me can I upload my heritage DNA to Jenny? Well, you can't upload it directly, but the point being, can you upload my heritage DNA to Family Tree DNA and link over to Jenny? Because according to the Jenny FAQ, I would have to say no, but I'm not sure. <laughs> I'd be surprised if you couldn't. I'm not sure what's going on there. And I have seen somebody on social media. I did a bit of a, a search across the genealogy forums and I saw somebody who said fairly recently, um, in, in within the last couple of months, that he had done it, but it had taken three goes. I'm not sure what he meant by three goes. Maybe he had to click the connect three times. I'd be very interested if you do, if you have tested with my heritage, or if and or if that's the upload that you've you've brought into Family Tree DNA comes from my heritage, and you are able to hook over to Jenny. Please drop a comment in the YouTube. Video under the YouTube video or on my blog, and I will go and update this information to say that, yeah, you can do it. Okay, so I'll leave it there. Uh, again, link I'll link in the description below to all these articles, and um, best of luck with your research.